Yeah, keep going. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my, uh, my, my vocals stopped working. Really? Yeah. Woo. Oh, there we go. Back on. All right.
Nice. Tame Impala live on KCRW. Excellent. So um, it's, it's unusual that um, I'm here in the same room as our guests, but it's kind of awesome. <laughs> it's kind of awesome. Yeah, yeah. I'd say. As long as I'm not freaking you out by standing here, it's like, who's this guy? <laughs> but I'm loving it. So um, how was the show last night? Uh, really good. It was yeah. a strange vibe because it was uh, the last show of the tour, so it was kind of like, ah. <laughs> yeah, well, well, why, do, why do you say strange? And um, well, just because, you know, we've been playing uh, for many weeks now. Yeah, just for it all to be ending. Songs. Yeah. Um, and um, uh, what was I saying? Um, the tour? Oh, yeah, and the and tour. So, with, yeah. so, so to be thinking that it's the last time you will be playing that song for a long time is this feeling of... Uh, Great release, but at the same time, sadness and sentiment. sentiment. <laughs> <laughs> Are you taking an extended break from the live stuff? I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> think well, then you'll be back. I think we're like you know, playing another show in a few days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, it's nice to feel sentimental about the live stuff. I guess that shows that you really enjoy it. Yeah. Yes. So. And how do you like uh, Los Angeles? This is your second. I believe it's your second time performing here. Yeah, it's crazy. It's yeah. Crazy. Crazy Lots town butterfly. <laughs> Lots of roads. Lots of roads. <laughs> You're a keen observer. Um, have you had any time to kind of take it in and, and spend any time in Los Angeles? Or? Um, we have, yeah. I think last time we were here, uh, we have some friends here. Cool. Uh, that we kind of go and visit sometimes. But yeah, yeah no, we, we, we get to see. We see more of LA than we do of other cities, but we just see it from the two of us window. <laughs> So after so your don't tell them I said that. <laughs> after your first song, you um, you took your shoes off, yeah. and I was curious if that kind of enables you to, you know, for those who can't see, you have quite a few effects pedals here. Yeah. Um, Does that make it easier for you to control all the all the stuff? Yeah, it's kind of well, it's kind of the other way around. It's kind of that I've, I've, I'm able to have all this stuff because I can like constantly fiddle. With it. I'm just a fiddler. I, I can't be like not changing something all the time. Mm. So it's kind of just like. But um, I've, I've always just not been able to play instruments. I, I, I suddenly realized I'd started before without yeah. taking them off. That was the first time in ages. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it shows that it's like a strange time of the day. If you're playing well, yeah, thanks for getting up early and uh, coming down here. So um, you mentioned also, um, I don't know if you're going to use that mic now for the vocal, but whatever. Um, you said as you began the song, you said strange sounds, strange sounds when you were kind of manipulating. Oh, yeah. And... Uh, you know, in terms of your, your, your sound, I wonder, you know, what it took and how long it took for you to kind of come to that balance, that sonic balance, because your album's quite cerebral, you know, and I think that's one of the things I really enjoy about it, is it's quite, you know, it's in the head. Um, so I guess my question is, you know, did you have help and how long did it take for you to kind of come to that, that sound? Um, well, of all the recordings that I've been doing and we've been doing everything for a long time. Um, it's just a, a slow progression into that kind of thing, I guess. But with the album, um, we do a lot of the recording ourselves. We had, a, we had a guy helping us with the album just to sort of make sure I wasn't doing disastrous things <laughs> with microphones and stuff like that. But um, um, yeah, I don't know, it's hard to, it's hard to like map out. But uh, all I can say is that it's, it's what I like, it's like what I like or what we like to hear coming back at us in the studio, whether it's, you know. You know. But, you know, it's interesting because um, not only are there uh, points of reference that I think uh, draw people in, you know, like I hear John Lennon, I, yeah, I right. hear uh, Led Zeppelin, I hear a lot of good things, points of reference from the past, but also it feels very forward, it feels very progressive. And um, a good example of that is a lot of the DJs here at the station in other areas like more of the hip hop side, urban music, electronic, those guys loving the album as well. So it's kind of this crossover appeal. And um, I mean, that's, that's a wonderful thing. Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, yeah, I don't know, I think um, with the way we do um, music, it's, uh, it's, it's, you know, it's organic music, so it's played with you know, hands and fingers and, and stuff feet. like that and feet. <laughs> But um, it's meant to be quite sort of repetitive and hypnotic, almost in a kind of an electronic nature, you know, yeah, like yeah. using using our playing as a kind of a um, 
as though it was a living sample in a sense. So I think like the electronic artists just pick up on that kind of thing. Yeah, you and and it's it's kind of interesting that like we're the ones that make the 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 mulch and then they dig it up and use it as their like samples thing. So it's all part of this like cycle mm. of, of music and sound and stuff. Mm. I think it's quite cool. There's a couple covers that I've seen as B-sides and sometimes the covers that a band picks are an <coughs> indication of some influences. Um, Massive Attack and also a really left field choice with that Blue Boy record. Oh yeah. <laughs> How did, why did you decide to cover that? Because that was kind of an obscure, at least in America, it's kind of an obscure dance record from the mid 90s. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I've, I've just always liked the song. I remember hearing it when I was, I think, like 11 years old in front of um, Rage. Rage is like the video hits program in Australia. Yeah. And yeah, I just I just fell in love with it. I mean, so it was I mean, a big record in Australia? Uh, I don't think so. I think it was just that one song. That one song. It was yeah. just like a, a top 40 thing. But yeah, I don't know. I, I, don't know. I think um, it's cool because it's really groovy and um, it's got a good rhythm and everything but at the same time it's and I, I find the the sample has quite a lot of emotion in it it's quite a it's quite a good like line yeah. so it's you know and also we started playing that when we first got jay and uh, we needed we needed to fill out the set without anything too complicated <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we st- yeah there's a, a a photograph in the liner notes um of a mixing desk and um and then a really beautiful view um wh- where is that um it's three hours south of perth um Perth is uh, on the west coast of Australia, where we come from. I've actually been there. Oh, all right, yeah. cool. Can well, it's um, <laughs> it's just outside of Margaret River. It's in this kind of um, yeah. near, near this beach. I think I think the only like the the location they call they just name it after the beach, which is right there, which is injured up or injured up or something. And uh, yeah, it's just a house that we were that we rented for about six weeks to put together the album. And that's that just happened to be where we set up the control the mixing room. You know, yeah. it was just one part of the the main room, which had like glass panels you could just see it must be inspiring though it's oh yeah it was pretty cool it was it made it easier <laughs> and, and um, harder at the same time so what's with the turkey um not him the um <laughs> <laughs> uh, do your drum thing gummer <laughs> <laughs> what is that uh just a good luck uh good luck charm there uh oh, he's our friend he um he reminds us not to take anything too seriously. You know, we, we turn around at him and go, like, oh. It's Good. to remind us that everyone is a turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Well, I hope you can see that at home on the, on the web at kcrw.com. Tame and Paula are here. Um, so, huge year uh, for you. Any kind of highlights looking back at 2010? Like, just big moments for you. To be honest, um, I don't really know when it began. <laughs> I, I, I haven't really, I, People keep telling us it's been a big year, but I, to be honest, I don't actually know what we did this year that wasn't in the last year. Does anyone know? I like when Wayne Coyne came on our bus. <laughs> Wayne Coyne yeah, came on the bus? That's cool. Wayne Coyne on our bus. That's yeah. awesome. And how about the new year? Any kind of uh, goals, resolutions for the band? Are you just c- going to keep it rolling? Uh, I think we're just going to... I don't know. We've all kind of got various ambitions and things with all the different kinds of music we make. So we're probably just going to head back to Perth and keep... Uh, making all kinds of noise with our friends and, you know, that kind of thing. It's kind of, you yeah, know, that's kind of what we do at home. It's is that, is that to, <laughs> to say that there's a work on a new album or is it just sort of loose? Oh, I was, I was talking more about our other bands. But, yeah, there's a Tame in Parliament coming along as well. All right. That's, I mean, that's the, the one I'm kind of doing and Jay and everyone else. But um, All right. Well, yeah. then uh, we look forward to that. But in yeah. the meantime, you've made a very special record, which we love. Oh, thanks. It's made a lot of our DJs best of the year. And uh, for me, I first heard it in... I think late May in Ibiza, Spain, actually. Wow. Um, so I think it's one of those things where your first impression on an album really stays with you, and then it's just kind of magical. But uh, it's nice to see everybody rallying and supporting the record. All right, well, let's get into your next set. I wish we had a show to tell everybody about, but it was last night. Uh, we hope you come back through town very soon. Tame Impala, live on KCRW.
too well then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, everyone. <laughs>